Okay, so this video is going to be about calculating the enthalpy change for this reaction here, the combustion of methane, complete combustion of methane, uh, using bond enthalpies. GCSE standard, if you remember, if you're just using bond enthalpies, you just need to add up the sum of the bonds that are going to be broken. So you have four CH bonds in methane. So that's four moles of CH bonds you need to break. You also need to break two moles of oxygen-oxygen double bonds. And you are going to then form two oxygen-carbon double bonds. And we know from GCSE, bond breaking is endothermic, bond forming is exothermic. And we've got four lots of OH bonds, four moles of OH bonds. So we pop all of that into our calculation, we have the sum of the bonds that we need to break, take away the sum of the bonds we're going to form. Uh, let's just quickly pop that into the calculator. Alright, gives us a value of minus 818 kilojoules per mole. Wonderful. Hooray. And we know, therefore, the energy of our reactants, methane and oxygen, the energy of our reactants is higher. The energy or enthalpy that is stored within our reactants that chemical potential energy stored in the bonds is higher than the energy stored in our products because that energy difference has been released. And we know that the enthalpy change here, minus 818 kilojoules per mole, is due to there being less energy stored in the products than there is energy stored in the reactants, which is why this reaction is exothermic overall. We can use Hess's law in order to calculate this as well by creating Hess, a Hess cycle. And if I go straight to the Hess cycle, bond energies are the, uh, the definition of breaking one mole of bonds in the gas phase under standard conditions. So I could break all of those reactant, the bonds in the reactants, to give me my atoms. My atoms will all be in the gas phase. Uh, and there they are. Looks a bit strange seeing hydrogen and oxygen written as atoms, but in this case, the definition is breaking the bonds in the reactants to form the atoms. And just like we have over here with the bond energies, that requires uh, four lots of 413 and two lots of 498. So the sum of the bond enthalpies of the reactants is 2,648 kilojoules per mole. We can do the same principle for the bond enthalpies of our products. And again, we've got two lots of 805 for the carbon-oxygen double bonds and four lots of 464 for each of the OH bonds. Uh, pop that into the calculator and we have a total of 3,466 kilojoules. Using Hess's law to go around our cycle from reactants to products via the other route, via the atoms. Our enthalpy of reaction, technically enthalpy of combustion, because this is a combustion reaction, will be equal to plus 2648 minus, because we're going the wrong way up this arrow, 3466 bond breaking endothermic, bond breaking 
exothermic. Pop that into our calculator. And hopefully, good, we get the same value, minus 818 kilojoules per mole. Wonderful. I can incorporate these two enthalpy changes on my energy level diagram as well by putting in two more arrows and one more energy level. I can have the energy level of my gaseous atoms, so carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, and I know that the bond enthalpy, the definition being breaking bonds and breaking the bonds in the products, that's 3466 six, and 2648. And we can see here whether we have our HEST cycle or whether we have our energy level diagram to calculate the enthalpy change starting here and ending here, starting with our reactant, ending with our products. If we go the other route, we go the correct way up that arrow and we go the other way down that arrow. So the enthalpy of reaction or enthalpy of combustion for this reaction is 2648 minus 3466, which equals minus 818 kilojoules per mole. We could also just look up in the data booklet, the enthalpy of combustion. However, the enthalpy of combustion in the data booklet and this little symbol here isn't quite correct in what I have written. I have not actually calculated the enthalpy, the standard enthalpy of combustion for methane. Because of this gas here, if this was the standard enthalpy of combustion of methane, water would have to be a liquid because water is a liquid at room temperature and pressure, 209 Kelvin, 100 kilopascals. However, bond enthalpies are measured in the gas phase, so I would need to incorporate um, the energy vaporization for two moles of water to get the actual final value 